All right, basically, right? I'm going to tell you something personal. Are you ready? All right, and I'm going to ask your each of your opinions, what you think and why you think it happened. So basically, for over one year, I've been looking for a farm. You know a farm? Yes. So, yes. So the reason I've been looking for a farm is because near the end times of the signs of the Day of Judgment, when Dajjal comes, before Dajjal comes, there's going to be many food problems. There's going to be many food problems. So because of this, the Prophet ﷺ advised us to go away from the cities and to go towards the mountains. Yeah, and the Prophet ﷺ said the most valuable, the most expensive thing will be your cattle. You know what cattle is? Kettle. Cattle, not kettle. Ca huh? It's like animals. Because your animals, you can eat them. Your animals can give you milk. Yeah. So the most valuable thing will be that. And you will have to go towards the mountains. You know, so these things... So these things you have to prepare for. So for this reason, in South Turkey, I was looking for a farm. For many, for about, I think one year, I was looking for it. And about four days ago, I found it. I could just feel it, like everything in my heart was saying, this is it. Yeah? And the signs I was getting, like literally, I saw it, and I'm not there, I'm not in Turkey right now. But the farm is in Turkey, in the middle of nowhere three hours away from the city so at the same time I found this farm the same time a friend of mine messaged me that to ask what's happening about the farm because she, she's also interested in the farm and so I thought okay let me put the dots together she's in Turkey let me send her so the same time I sent her to go see the farm three hours away do you understand so everything was coming together do you understand all the signs were coming together, the help of Allah was coming, the price was amazing, like unbelievable. The price of the farm, we don't have to go into the price you know, specifics, but the price of the farm was so cheap, there was no farm for this price for that side. So stop worrying about the price. So what I'm trying to tell you is that everything was perfect. Everything was going perfectly. Someone was going to see it for me. Someone was going to make a video of it. The person who was selling it was very religious. Mashallah, he was very nice and kind. He, he picked up my friend from the station, took him to the, to the farm, spent the whole day with them, did everything, yeah? They shook their hands. They said, that's it, we're going we're gonna to buy it. We're going to get it from you. I remember I've been looking for a one year, one whole year I've been looking for it. And at the same time, I don't know if you know, but my dad is in the hospital and he's going to be going anytime soon now. So we, I think what Allah plans is that he wants him to go when Ramadan starts. So as soon as Ramadan starts, Allah wants to take him. So it was my dad's wish that I should buy a farm. To the extent, about one month ago, when he was still in the deathbed, we thought he could go anytime. He told me, Faizan, go quickly, buy the farm and come back. Yeah, because things are getting more difficult around the world. I see some signs, bad signs. So he said, buy the farm quickly. So what happened is that, so I felt this was it. Do you get it? That he's going, he's going to you know, pass away in a few days. And as soon as he passes away, I'll be able to go back to Turkey and purchase the farm. Do you understand? Now, let me ask you this question. Let's see if you have an answer for it. Because you know, as Muslims, the first person we turn towards when we are confused, when we are scared, when we feel sad or upset. So today I was really upset, like more upset than ever. So the first person I turned to was Allah. You know, I made dua to Allah, I cried to Allah. But it's also good to talk to people, talk to other Muslims. Because the Prophet said one Muslim to another Muslim is like a, a brick to a brick. Yeah, you support each other. Yeah, and people give you encouragement. So remember this in life, 
whenever you are down or you feel sad or you feel like some, something's making you angry or go crazy or something really bad is happening in your life, don't go to bad people. Don't go to friends who are bad. Go to, go to good Muslims. Yeah, go to good Muslims. Go to pious people. Go to people who are wise, who are knowledgeable. Go to an Imam, go to a Morana, go to a Sheikh, go to good Muslim. You might have some good Muslim friends. And if you make friends with good Muslims, like if you were to ask me who's one of my best friends uh, in, in this world, I mean, a human, it's probably my friend Zishan. I don't know if you know Zishan from Smile to Jannah. You know Smile to Jannah? Yeah. The YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. One of my best friends. So, what you got to understand is in life, these things are going to happen. That I'm trying to do something good. You see, I'm not trying to buy the farm for profit. Do you understand? Why am I doing it for? Okay. What did I tell you? Oh, for the major science. For the major science. To prepare for the major science. <laughs> to get away from the city. Because the fitna will come. You know, some sort of evils. I told you this before. One of the first lessons we did was what? The, stay back. The dangers of the internet. Yeah, and the internet is one of the ways the Jal will capture your mind and the way you think and corrupt. Corrupt is the best word. What? You said that you were sad, so did No, no, he hasn't gone yet. I think he's waiting for Ramadan. Ramadan starts tomorrow night. Tomorrow Maghrib. So, so, so I'm just thinking, why did Allah do this? Why did Allah show me so many good signs? And then right at the end, he clicked it and found out that the farm is now sold. Today I found it's out. Sold. Yeah. The guy sold it. Why? I don't know. I don't know. He's, he said he said maybe he got more money or I was taking I was taking too much time. You know. So, so you're most, likely, yeah. most likely. Most likely. you're gonna find another one then. Is that what you think? One whole year again. It took one year to find that. It took one year to find that. Do you understand? So all I'm trying to... Look, at the reason I'm sharing it with you is because to tell you in life these things will happen. Do you understand? Even though you're trying to do something good. It's not like it was for... Do you understand? It wasn't for some money reasons. It wasn't for some worldly benefit. It was for something... For Allah. It was for Allah. So you were trying to do something for Allah. But Allah didn't allow you to do it. Do you understand? So sometimes in life things won't make sense. Yeah, it'll be very confusing. Like, and like you find your real one. You think so? I hope so. You better, because I'm angry now. So <laughs> Allah better do it because I'm super duper angry. I mean, in the beginning when I made dua to Allah, I was quite angry. You know, I, I said a lot of things. But it's alright to be angry. Do you understand? Because when you get angry at Allah, Allah knows that He knows that okay, He's coming to me because He knows He accepts that I did it. Yeah. So Allah likes that. Allah likes it that you've turned towards Him. Yeah. And then after the anger went down, I became more emotional and I felt better after getting a bit emotional. So in life, you're gonna have to do that. You're gonna get these troubles. You're gonna get. I know it's an awkward conversation. You're like, oh, what is this guy talking about? Yeah. So, but this is what it is in life. This is gonna happen. Yeah, you're going to have to turn to Allah. It's going to be difficult. Yeah, it won't make sense. Anyone has any advice for me? To give me encouragement or something? I don't know. Huh? You have any advice for me, Masood? When I get back, you know. I, you know, like, the other problem is because now I've kind of given up hope. So, you know, that's, that's what happens in the beginning. You know, when you're really sad and upset, it takes time to recover. Like my friend messaged me, he said, don't worry, you'll find another one. I said, the problem is the mind accepts what you just said. The mind, the brain accepts it. But the heart, the heart takes more time to recover, you know, from the pain and from the, from breaking, basically. The heart breaks, it takes more time. But the brain knows. Did you jaw drop when you found out? More than my jaw, man. More than my jaw. <laughs> so, so what I'm trying to say is basically... Anyone have any advice for me? Any more advice? Yeah. Oh. Find a new one. Find a new one.
Be patient. Huh? Yeah, I know, but the, the reason we chose Turkey is because of certain other reasons. Some other hadith, and that's why we chose South Turkey. No, basically, you know, there's a hadith of the Prophet that, that, that near the end times, the most blessed lands will be the lands of Sham. So we should be near to that, at least. So that's why we, we chose South Turkey, isn't it? To be near to the blessed land. <coughs> so everything, everything that, land. like the Prophet said many blessings about that land of Sham. Do you understand? In the future you might learn about this, but the, the Prophet has already told us about these things. Do you understand? So any other, any other words of encouragement? Patience. Patience. Try, not, Patience. try not to be sad. Try not to be sad. Just get over the things. So it takes time, you know. I mean, I'm sad still. I'm not as sad as I was when I first got the news. I'm a bit better. But I think it'll get, you know, get better and I'll get more confident and happy. Hurt. Is it like your heart hurts when, like, like yeah. why did I not do this? Stuff? I mean, it makes you think, oh, I should have done. Yeah, and then it makes you sick and We'll do assembly, inshallah. Wait, today's Take. assembly. Okay, anything else? Last words before we end this uh, conversation? Okay, make dua for me. Allah, find us the right. Oh, is he doing it upstairs? So may Allah, may Allah accept us to be used for the maximum benefit of his religion for Allah. May Allah, this is the dua I always make, that may Allah use me, because Allah has given us this body, Allah has given us this life, yeah, for a purpose, for a reason. So the dua I always make, and if anyone asks me, may, you know, can I, do you want something, I'm gonna go to Umrah or Hajj or something. What dua do you want? Dua do you want? I only say one dua. I say, may Allah accept me for the maximum, maximum benefit of his religion. Yeah, do you understand? To be utilized, so I can be utilized to please Allah to the maximum. If you please Allah to the maximum, that means you get the maximum reward because you've used yourself in the maximum way. Do you understand? Without wasting time in other things, without getting, you know, wasting time in rubbish things or something, you know? It's not about hard, it's about expensive. So do you understand? Because our budget is is limited. Tell us, tell us. We try to we try to get a cheaper one which had so because it had water, it was it, the land was good. It had a house built on it already. Uh, it was a beautiful view, mountains. Uh, so huh? take home. It was thirty thousand square meters. That's about four football pitches. Hey. Hey. No, that's big. That's Four big. football pitches. That's big. Ooh. You would need four football pitches to match that. Bravo. Your football pitches. Nowhere near Premier League. No way. So, and it had a swimming pool as well. Yeah. So, basically yeah, what they did is basically there was a pipe. There was a pipe coming through where it pumps the water with the solar panels. So, from the sun, it takes the electricity. There was no electricity on the land. Yeah, you missed out. There was no... There was no water coming from a, like in London, you know, you open the tap, it's connected from the water uh, place, yeah? So in, over there, it comes from the ground. So the solar panels take the power from the sun, yeah? And no, from the, yeah, basically natural, so it won't run out, basically. And then it pumps the water from the ground, brings the water to my land, and it goes into the swimming pool first. So when it goes in the swimming pool first, it's clean, you can swim in it. And after you swim in it, you can use that water for farming as well at the same time. The two in one. I wonder why it's expensive. Everything's expensive. Everything's getting expensive. Why it's expensive. <laughs> because of you training. Yeah, they, they are expensive. So anyway, the, I'm just trying to share something with you, let you know about you know this is what's happening. You know, so remember, always turn to even when you have problems, turn to good people. You, know, you can always talk to me. You can talk to the sheikh there. You can talk to sheikh Inam. You know, any times you have some sort of problems or you want to talk to some, talk to your parents. Yeah. Talk to good people who can help you and who want good for you. Do you understand? 
and be careful beware of bad friends and bad people if you if you're angry and you turn to bad people they're going to make you get more angry anyone who makes you more angry when you're angry already that's not a good person yeah a good person will calm you down yeah will try and calm you down will try and make you turn to Allah Okay, so may Allah give us tawfiq, inshallah, and I hope, inshallah, I find the best farm possible, Amin. Say Amin. Amin.